Hi everybody and welcome to another extremely unprofessional video by me, Antoinette of Dream Girl Trucking. Dream Girl Trucking is not about me or my looks as you already know as well. Uh, it's about, it's for anybody who's working on a dream, has a dream, uh, living the dream, uh, I think everybody needs to set goals and work towards them. I think that's really good for people. It gives us something to do. So, um, thanks for tuning in. And if you like my channel, please don't forget to like my video. Uh, so, anyway, let's get to this. Because uh, really what bothers me about watching videos is those live ones where they say, they spend the first five minutes when they come on. Oh, hello, Steve from... Waxahachie and uh, hello uh, Julie from uh, Oklahoma glad you're here well you know what I'm here to watch a video so let me get right to the point for you today my video is about thanking a trucker you see it all the time thank a trucker they even give us a day a week who knows whatever it is thank a trucker truckers are famous or you know first responders and they deserve so much and blah 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 so the video today is about do people really want to thank a trucker and the answer is no okay so that's the whole video thank you uh steve from waxahachie for being with us and uh <laughs> a lot of people still want to get into trucking though and they, they don't realize that the trucking schools are still telling people that, oh yes, you could be a truck driver, see the world, make lots of money, be a hero. You know, we're not first responders, but you know, if you brought it, if you've got it, a truck brought it. That's the saying and that is true. But are people appreciative of truckers or trucks? No. They don't want us in their parking lots. Uh, Bucky's, this is a shout out to you. They don't want us in their parking lots. A lot of the Walmarts will put a boot on our truck if we park there overnight. Uh, you know, it's true. Some of the, uh, the, the way stations, you know, they won't even let us park in there. And of course, it's because of people who throw trash out. We can't stop them from doing that, but we can publicly shame them when they, when we see them doing it. Now, I realize it's different. For me, a little old lady to approach somebody and say, I saw you throw out that bag of trash. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're making all of us look bad. You need to pick that up and put it back in your truck. But I know that some of y'all could get shot or stabbed for doing that. So, uh, you know, you're just going to have to, you know, have your own discretion. But it's important. I feel that it's important that instead of sitting silently by when we see something that's wrong, that we speak up and, and say it. Uh, okay, and back to the, uh, they don't appreciate us. We go to these shippers and receivers and we sit there for hours and they don't have a bathroom for us. So, you got to carry your own bathroom in here and people say, oh, I want to be a truck driver, and I say, oh, that's just fine, but your bathroom is a foot from your kitchen. You realize that, don't you? And they say, oh, no, I didn't realize that. Well, yeah, we make all kinds of sacrifices to be in these trucks, and we're not boohooing about it because each of us chose to be here, although maybe most of us got in here thinking that it was going to be different than what it is but some of us didn't. And uh, the thing is though, that all of us make sacrifices and we all had our own unique path that led us to make the decision to leave our entire lives behind because that's what we have to do to become truck drivers. And a lot of you guys might say, and remember when I say guys, I'm talking to you girls too. I love you girls. So, um, a lot of you guys might think, well, uh, or might say, I didn't leave my whole life behind. I just work. Uh, I'm regional. I'm home every weekend. Well, you know, try try taking a day off in the middle of the week very often, and it's not going to happen. You know, you, I guess you guys have to go to doctor's appointments sometimes, but, you know, other than something like that, maybe a funeral, you know, you're not getting off either. Your life is behind. You don't get up in the morning. 
and see your family and, you know, kiss your wife goodbye or, you know, as y'all both go off to work or as you go off to work, you don't, you're not there every evening to help your children with their homework. And it's like this, somebody was asking about working uh, just regional and uh, wouldn't that be better because I could have time with my family and blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, a lot of these regional positions, you get home one day for your 34 hour reset. That's all that 34 hours is because you've got to sleep when you get there. You got to sleep before you leave. You got to do your laundry. You got to unload your truck and reload your truck, you know, taking all your dirty clothes off and, and, and putting them, doing your laundry, putting them back on, stripping your bed, washing your sheets, putting them back on. You know, you're, you really don't have a lot of time for anything. So your time is very metered. So all of us, uh, you know, even when I drove local, 70 hours a week is a lot more than 40 hours a week. Who in their right mind, who doesn't have to be a truck driver, would be a truck driver? I guess that's easy for me to ask because I have to be a truck driver. Um, you know, I was selling insurance and that was going great, but not fast enough. And uh, when I had to get a place, I didn't want to, you know, live in a in a really bad you know, place. You know what I mean. I'm not going to say it because I don't want to offend anybody. Somebody watching this might live in a really bad place. So, I don't want to offend y'all, but I have a certain standard, standard of living. And uh, granted, it's below a lot of people's standard of living, but it's mine. And whatever your standard of living is, if you're not making enough to meet that standard of living, then get yourself a dream and start working it. That's what I have to say about that. Uh, let's see here. Who else doesn't appreciate truck drivers? Um, uh, everybody. Everybody has their hand out. Everybody wants money, 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 money. And thankfully, the FMCSA, who writes our laws that regard truck driving, they're starting to do things about, because they got a new boss lady. They're starting to do things about uh, these uh, towing companies that, that, charge thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for a tow and then they won't give our trucks back to us and then you know people lose their their whole uh, business like that and also they're looking into um, the contracts for uh, lease purchase because you know those people they've got our their hands in our pocket as well so um, you know everybody out here does uh, the even the truck stops have gone to charging us for parking some truck stops you can't park there at all unless you unless you pay and then there was that one that I dropped my trailer at when I went to the eye doctor as y'all can see I'm still wearing my still wearing my glasses because that I, I thought I had a cut on my eye so when I got back home I went to the optometrist and she said uh, no that's a bacterial infection because you don't ever take your contacts out well, I mean, I do uh, every other month, and if they get to bother me, I'll soak them overnight. I'll take them out, you know, overnight, but I don't like driving in my glasses because uh, it's hard when the sun is up and I have to put my sunglasses over my glasses. The clip-on ones, they just broke off because I didn't start out wearing contacts. I started out wearing glasses, and I switched to contacts because I'm so me. You can imagine the stories that of what happened. Well, I was outside and I was filling in this tree that, that I had uh, transplanted and I was filling it in with manure because horse manure will turn into whatever kind of dirt is around it. So if you, you fill in a hole uh, and you have sandy loam, uh, you know, months later, that you're not gonna be able to tell it was manure, it's all gonna be sand. So I was filling in this hole with horse manure and it was hot and it was in the summer and I was sweating and my glasses kept falling, 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 falling. So uh, I finally, uh, and I had to keep touching them and I don't, ew, cause ew. I had gloves on, but still, I don't want to touch my manure gloves, you know? Okay, so uh, finally I said, well, that's it. And I just took them off and uh, they fell into the manure. I, I try to put them in the, in the grass, you know, cause it was really big. It was it's a big it was a big hole like I could fit into it and so um yeah so I that my glasses landed in the manure and then I couldn't see so when I got all the manure raked off into the hole I went to stand up and I stepped on my glasses and I ground them into the manure and that's when I said 
I'm wearing contacts from now on. So I went to wear contacts. But when I take my contacts out, that's when I lose them. That's why I leave them in for so long. Well, so anyway, when I go back home, uh, there, they, she gave me some drops too. And, and, it, and it, it's like battery acid because, you know, I got an infection. It's like putting alcohol on infection. I digress. We're talking about how people don't appreciate truck drivers. And really, even the optometrist, she's like, I want you to come back in two weeks, so uh, maybe you can stop at one of our other clinics. And where are you going? I said, uh, everywhere. I'm not coming back in two weeks to go to the optometrist. You're gonna have to wait a month, because that's how long I like to stay out. So she talks to me for a couple more minutes, and I guess she's in distress because I can't be seen in two weeks. And she says once again, well, where are you going? Lady, I'm going everywhere. Yes, I'm going everywhere. Right now, I am in uh, Rochelle, Illinois at the Petro. And I like this Petro because they have a trucker's chapel. Even though it's not Sunday, it's still cool that there's a trucker's chapel here. And I've been to it before, and uh, the pastor was super nice. So if y'all stop in here and it's Sunday, I strongly suggest you guys go over there and get yourself a little dose of Jesus because we really need it because nobody appreciates us nobody appreciates us out here so uh that's how that is and uh that's going to be the end of my video for now uh i have to work on my taxes because i still haven't finished my 2022 taxes and it was april 15th like two days ago so if y'all don't see me again it's because i am in a uh, federal gulag behind bars probably working on my taxes from there so goodbye everybody hopefully i'll see you again y'all be careful and have a good summer in case i never see you again bye